This is an All Ears English podcast, episode 1880, direct, flexible, or somewhere in between, how to express it in English. Welcome to the All Ears English podcast, downloaded more than 200 million times. Are you feeling stuck with your English? We'll show you how to become fearless and fluent by focusing on connection, not perfection. With your American hosts, Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, and Michelle Kaplan, the New York radio girl, coming to you from Colorado and New York City, USA. And to get your transcripts delivered by email every week, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash subscribe. When it comes to deciding on where to eat, what movie to see, or what color to paint your bathroom, how can you express that you have some flexibility, but you also have an opinion? Lindsay and Michelle show you all this and more today. Hey, Lindsay, how are you? Awesome, Michelle. What's going on? Oh, not too much. Not too much. I'm excited about today's episode. We are talking about, you know, kind of like, you know, showing that you have a preference, showing that you care uh, enough. (laughs) That you care enough. Yes, yes. Showing you care. What what kind of context specifically are we talking about? I guess I'll tell you a little (laughs) more. Okay, so this is a follow up, guys, to episode 1735 from way back. And this is That was how to hand over the decision-making powers in English. And we spoke about handing over the decision with expressions like it's up to you, like kind of showing that flexibility, showing, you know, you make the decision. And so we talked about how sometimes you're okay with whatever, but like, do you ever have that moment where you're like, you're okay with whatever, but you're kind of hoping that somebody makes a decision one way. So like you're, you're really, you are flexible, but you kind of want to steer the decision a little bit, right? Yeah, this is really good stuff. I mean, I love that we're giving our listeners such high level topics. Um, By the way, guys, if you want to learn more about how to be flexible, which is the opposite skill, right, of this episode today, go over to episode 1522, right? That is how to show your flexibility in English. So that's the opposite. But today we're talking about, yeah, you have to show a little bit of something, nudge things in one direction or the other. Nudge. Right. That's a good word for today, right, Michelle? I like it. Right. It's this, it's this idea of like, you're flexible, but you have a preference. And I remember we were talking about this and you mentioned you know, when that happens and that it is important to be able to express that. You don't always necessarily, oh, it's up to you, whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, that you can still, you can still be flexible, but kind of try and show that you have some sort of preference, right? So it's different. It's like there's being direct, you know, saying what you want, being Mm -hmm. totally flexible, and then kind of this middle point, which I think a lot of us are in um, much of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But honestly, like it's, it's easier for people around you if you say what you want. Even if you just give a little bit of a hint, because a lot of people are in this place where things feel ambiguous. So be the person who has a little bit of a preference. It just makes things so much easier. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. So we are going to talk about this situation today and what you can do about it, what you can say and and how, like, what should be in your answer or what you should tell people. So, but before we do that, we want to thank our reviewers, right, Lindsay? Yeah, totally. I want to say thank you to some very special reviewers, some names, people who reviewed us in both Apple Podcasts or CastBox or wherever you listen, Spotify and the the Android app. So thank you. Special thank you to Nabe Aziz, Shadi, uh, someone from Korea. I can't read that name, though. Ali Parvane from Iran. And in the Android app, very special thanks to Kyocera from Japan. Thank you to Omar El Hadra. Thank you to Mohamed Reza Kermani, Swapnil, Samin Dare. Guys, these are some fantastic reviews. I mean, guys, we have a whole app over there at allersenglish.com slash app. So check that out and leave us your rating and review. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Yes. All right. So let's get to it, Lindsay. So 
I mean, how how can we do this? How can we show this middle ground of flexibility with a slight preference? Oh, my gosh. That is a good question. How can we do it? Uh, let's see, Michelle, why don't you start us off and then I can okay. follow where you sure. are here. So, so <laughs> I mean, and this can be in any order. You know, you can hand okay. over the decision, which we spoke about, like in that episode. Mm -hmm. So, you know, things like it's up to you, your call, things like that. Yep. Okay. Perfect. And explain your preference. Your preference. So some okay. sort of explanation, expression, and then an explanation. And you might be able to switch this around. I think it's, it's uh, either one is fine. Um, so okay. like saying, like an explanation could be like saying you had something already, maybe mm -hmm. commenting on price, having a certain feeling, whatever it could be. Okay. So you're suggesting that we do both, right? We hand over the decision and we also explain our preference or? Yeah, I mean, I guess okay. you don't have to do both. But if you want to, you know, maybe, you know, because in the other episode, we talked about completely handing it over. And here, oh, I feel okay. like this is like, in the middle, like, oh, it's <laughs> yeah, up to middle. you. But, you know, like, yes. show that's the way to kind of show your flexibility is to perhaps hand it over mm. just a little bit, but still explain. So but if you want to just explain your preference, of course, you can do that. Um, I just think that that's a little bit yeah. more on the other side of being a little bit more direct. Yeah, I actually like this uh, strategy. It's kind of a, a two-step right. process, right? We do two things. We say we're open, but we do say a little bit of a preference, just a little bit to nudge, right? right. To steer things because that way you get the best, best of both worlds. You're you're telling the person, hey, you really can decide, but here's what I think, but I'll go with what you think. Right. You know? <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> I know. It's, it, it's, it's really what people prefer, I think. They don't want you to be so open and say, whatever, I don't care. Right. And they don't always want you to say, let's do this. Right, right, right. So this is very useful, guys. So, I mean, what's something – today we're really talking about this idea of explaining the preference, right? Giving your yeah. explanation. So what's okay. one thing you could say? Okay, this expression is great. I'm leaning toward, mm -hmm. right? And you can imagine a body kind of leaning in one direction yes. or the other. <laughs> right, 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 right. Because right. when it comes to things like sushi and pizza, I mean, it's very clear. Some nights you feel like sushi – other nights you feel like pizza and it's, you don't get them confused, right? Usually you don't get them confused. Like one night is pizza. It's very clear when I feel like pizza versus sushi. <laughs> right, right. No, that's, that's, that's true. I mean, they're very different things. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. It's not like maybe like pizza or, you know, like something in the or same. Or like, calzones. Right. Calzones. Right, right. Calz <laughs> right. Um, so, all right, let's give, let's show how this would work. All right. Uh, you want sushi or pizza? Uh, it's up to you, but I'm leaning towards pizza because I had sushi last week. Yeah. And just to notice for our listeners, for a little grammar here, I didn't say, do you want? I yeah. said, you want, you want sushi or pizza. More so casual. native, so natural, yes. guys. But again, your textbook is never going to teach you that because they don't want to teach you that, right? Because it's not perfect grammar, but it is natural native grammar and it's totally acceptable. So just starting a question by saying, you want sushi or pizza? is right. totally fine. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You don't need that do, you know, all the time. Do. Exactly. I actually have gotten into recently, we've found a place that does kind of Chicago style. Actually, I think it's Detroit style pizza, which is very deep dish. Mm -hmm. The upper Midwest does a lot of deep dish pizza, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Chicago, Detroit. It's so good. It's called blue pan pizza. I love it because it's so much bread. <laughs> but are you like a pure New York pizza girl, Michelle? Um, I, you know what the truth, like, I, I feel like I haven't, I, I have had the deep dish. But I feel mm -hmm. like not enough. I feel I, I'm looking forward to traveling more and trying different types of pizzas one day because yeah. I feel like I, I am kind of in a New York pizza place. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, uh, you could do a whole pizza tour of the U.S. Oh, Guess where it. what I learned over the weekend is that, believe it or not, Connecticut supposedly has some of the best pizza in the country. Really? Well, I, I can go there. <laughs> I know. Oh. I was actually surprised to hear that. Um, but it's close to New York and it is kind of close to Rhode Island, which also has great pizza. So that kind of makes sense. Right, right, right. True. Oh, very interesting. Okay, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. What else, Michelle? Well, the other one is for an explanation to say something like, I already... Right. Yeah. So how this, does this work? Well, this, mm -hmm. you know, explains that you did something already. So let's show how this might work. Mm -hmm. Want to see the new James Bond or get dinner? Uh, it's your call, but I, I already saw that movie. 
Okay, so clearly this is good because you're making it clear that you would go see it, but you need to say if you've already seen it. Right, right because then you're probably going to say, oh, no, no, of course. Like- yeah, of course not. I'm not going to make you see the movie again unless, of course, it was really good. Some people go to movies repeated times. I know <laughs> they do if they love it in the theaters. Right. Like, <laughs> and, and in that case, I would have given you more of a signal. I could have been like, it's your call. Um, I did already see James Bond, but like, but I loved amazing. it. And oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. You would like here. It sounds like I'm like, not, you know. <laughs> yeah you were kind of met on it right like or it of, was maybe it was good but i don't want to see it again like i don't want to see it again d- can yeah. you think of any movies that you saw more than once in the theater well i i know a friend of a friend of mine someone in my universe went to see gucci like five times oh, really? or something. but didn't, i don't you think saw it was it, that you? good yeah. i did but i don't think it was worth seeing it five times but he just really loved it um uh-huh. a movie that i would see i mean i guess the classics like Apparently Titanic was a super grossing yeah. movie, right? A high grossing of yeah. all time or something like that. Maybe I would see that again in the theaters. Re- relive the days of high school. <laughs> uh, well, no, but I'm talking about did you see, do you remember any movies? That- I've never done that. Oh, you've no, never? I've never done <gasps> it. Not yet. Not oh, yet. How, so, which ones did you go see twice? Well, Michelle? I remember I saw, I mean, I haven't done it lately. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, but there are a few. Like I saw, mm. I remember I saw in high school or whenever it was out, How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. Oh yeah, I saw that's that a, fun a couple one. times, and I remember I saw Wedding Crashers a couple times in the theater. Yeah, all those good rom coms from the nineties, right? Yeah. So, but there, are, there are more, there are other ones, and sometimes it just happens. It's because you're with people, and you're like, all right, I'll see it right, again. Right, right, right. But yeah. um, plus, what's yeah. better than going to the movies? I actually, even though I'm very outdoorsy, I love going to the movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Batman, yeah. Batman. I think oh, one wow. of the Batmans. Interesting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> very cool. I like it. And and by the way, before we go to the next one, guys, I want to highlight for our listeners here. Again, the question was not, do you want to see Uh the new James Bond movie? The question was, wanna? Wanna see the new James Bond movie? I just want to make sure our listeners know that. Again, your textbook won't teach it to you, but this is what natives say. Okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, and another thing you could say is, I'd rather. So, yeah, Mm -hmm. you know, that's showing your preference. So, uh, should we do the dark blue or the light blue? Well, it's up to you, but I'd rather go for darker colors in the bedroom. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So again, showing my flexibility by saying it's up to you or it's your call and then saying what I am leaning toward. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Like in this situation, it sounds like that's just what you want, right? I know. Sometimes it just sounds like... Yeah, because it's a big decision. Yeah. So it's interesting. Sometimes it's just like in some ways, it's just that you're softening things yeah exactly like some of these like the movie eh, and yeah. who really cares right what movie right. you see it's not going to have these lasting consequences but <laughs> a slightly more important question or decision is actually what color to paint the walls because you have to deal with it all the time <laughs> right 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 exactly so, so it's there's a slightly different vibe right. slightly different goal i have here isn't there right so it's more long term so you know sometimes i'm like wondering well why couldn't you just like why couldn't you just why be more direct that yeah maybe this is you know not the ideal example right maybe this is an example that belongs to other another episode right to say here's what i want and here's why right yeah but i do think people talk like this i think they that's, do that's the like other that. thing and whether and that's <laughs> yeah. i think the bigger question is like why mm-hmm. sometimes do we why why would i say well it's up to you if when i when you don't believe that you want to debate it out right uh-huh good point ah. i mean it's a little bit passive aggressive because then if your friend or your partner or whoever decides oh actually i'm gonna go i prefer the light then you're going to be upset, right? And then you're going to get into a problem. So yeah, just if you really want something, just say it. And we have other episodes, guys, where we've given you the vocab for that. Right, right, right. right. Exactly. And the last one is maybe, not maybe. May (laughs) Right. Okay. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Here's the role play, guys. So who should get the job offer? It's up to you, but candidate two may be more qualified when it comes to computer skills. Yeah, be careful here. I think a rookie mistake would be to say maybe, maybe as one word, but it's right. may be maybe more, more qualified. qualified, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Or maybe more. Right. Exactly. It's it's just a little bit of a different sound. So so mm-hmm. when I said here, it's up to you, maybe it is officially up to you, but I'm giving my input. You're giving your input. And it's interesting. You could also say might be, right? To right. Candidate two might be more qualified when it comes to computer skills. It's interesting because you're 
it sounds like it's like a guess kind of. They may be, but you're actually saying your opinion here. It's kind of high level right. by using maybe. It may be true that right. it's basically a way to express the opinion, not to express that you're guessing something. Right. You believe that. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Ooh, we're getting deep here. Deep, um, deep, deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, this is, it it's, brings us to the deeper discussion of, like, feeling comfortable yeah. expressing ourselves and also, you know, in different contexts, like, professional, with friends, like, dealing with big house decisions and design choices mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. thinking about, well, should I use this or should I say what I want? But then there's also the idea of, like, just in general, like softening things and showing that you're open and flexible. So you have to think about like, with these, like, who are you trying to be? What are you trying to say? And if somebody says, okay, yeah, then I like the light blue, you said it's up to me, then I'll go with the light blue. Is that going to upset you? Mm, that's true. And I think the other piece of this is knowing when to go with the other person because maybe they have more expertise in something or they just have a, for example, if you're redoing a house, like we went ahead and redid our fireplace, right? Mm -hmm. And I had this idea, I just really want a dark mantle. I wanted espresso. But it turns out I was wrong. That was the wrong stain for that wood. <laughs> and I was very adamant about that, right? And now what we have to do is go back and unstain. Like we have to sand the whole thing, take it off and do a lighter cherry, right? Cherry wood color. Mm -hmm. um, what I should have done was just deferred to my partner <laughs> oh. who has better uh, design skills. So that's the other key right. is knowing when to just let the other person decide because you may get a better outcome if you right. let the other person decide. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Like know your, know your role, like know your strengths. <laughs> know your strengths. Exactly. Know when it makes sense. To, it's just choosing a movie, it's opinion. But when it's like a design choice, painting yeah. the bathroom, maybe choosing a car, has that person done more research than you? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right 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 very interesting very interesting okay well this was fun Lindsay. a lot to think about here a lot of expressions and we gave you that two-step formula uh for when you do really genuinely feel like w whatever is fine you could go for sushi or pizza but you had sushi a couple days ago not in the mood you know like not in the mood so yeah this is, this is uh useful for those situations <laughs> i love it so good and guys go ahead don't forget hit follow on this podcast wherever you listen and leave us a rating and review you can review us wherever you are apple podcast spotify Google Podcasts, or also inside the iOS or Android app. You can get the app at allersenglish.com slash app. Awesome. All right. Okay, good well, this stuff. was fun, Lindsay, and good luck with that mantle. Well, thank you. We'll keep working on it. I'll talk to you soon, Michelle. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks for listening to All Ears English. Would you like to know your English level? Take our two-minute quiz. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash fluency score. And if you believe in connection, not perfection, then hit subscribe now to make sure you don't miss anything. See you next time. <laughs>